Right guys, this is a long playing review for Danger Street on the Amstrad CPC, released by Chip in 1987. Now there are three things that attracted me to this game to long play. First, the name of the game and the box art, so gloriously 80s. Secondly, it's a target shooting game which I like, but with really colourful graphics and smooth horizontal scrolling. Thirdly, and most importantly, it's an early Eric Chahi game. Don't know who Eric Chahi is? Well, he's the guy solely responsible for the amazing and highly successful Another World. Eric spent the early part of his career coding Amstrad CPC games. Most notable for me was the gory platformer Infernal Runner, and later the French-only Journey to the Centre of the Earth, which had some stunning digitised graphics on the CPC. Today, he's still making games, and only a few months ago, his new game, Paper Beast, was released for PlayStation VR. So, this is a French-only release, so it wasn't released in the UK or Spain. And uh, we're kicking things off here with a nice-ish loading screen. A little bit of animation there, with the flashing explosions, which is nice whilst it's loading. Uh, I've translated the story from the box. It is New York 2017, three years ago, uh, from recording this video. A superb city that has become the haunt of the most evil criminals in the entire galaxy. The highest dignitary of New York have decided to put an end to it once and for all and to massively eliminate this scum. It is you, vigilante of the future, who must rid the city of all these decadent beings. New York is counting on you. And here we go, it's a horizontally scrolling target shooting game. And that's level one done. Um, yeah, that's it, <laughs> really. Um, you can see what it is. Um, but yeah, um, I'm gonna get a little bit of a piece of a picture at the end of each level revealed to us. So yeah, uh, really lovely colorful graphics. I actually quite like the graphics. Uh, we've got really smooth horizontal scrolling. And, and quite a smooth moving target cursor. Uh, okay, sound effects, no music at all though, and a rather basic title screen. And you've all seen target shooting games before, I don't need to go on about them. Um, the targeting is not entirely accurate at times, it seems. You're often best aiming just to the right or and below of the bad guy shooting at you to kill him. Got there in the end there. Um, you only have one life and seemingly a set number of hits you can take per level before you die. But you're not told or shown this at all. And the manual doesn't mention anything either. Uh, which, is, which I suppose in a way increases the tension a bit. Um, and there's no duck or hide mechanic like, for example, Prohibition, a very similar game, has. Um, as the scrolling here, well, this looks like it's using the R3 register technique uh, for the horizontal scrolling. Essentially, this is hardware scrolling. Uh, by changing the R12 and R13 registers, you can define the start address of the screen, keep incrementing these values, and you can scroll the screen. But of course, you have to update to show the new graphics. It's not entirely smooth either. So using the R3 register on the CRTC chip, which is used for horizontal sync, you can smooth this out with clever timing and programming. The problem is you get these rough edges at the side of the screen, so it needs even further clever programming to either mask or smooth these out. For example, Mission Genocide on its vertical scrolling that uses R5 instead. It has rupture to split the screen and has a static panel with score, lives, etc. And it's this panel that masks the edge of the scrolling that's rough. It's not really possible or easy to do something similar when it's scrolling horizontally. And I guess Eric just didn't think it was worth the time uh, investing. I should also point out that this scrolling technique can have problems in certain monitors and emulators. I tested this out on my Amstrad monitor and it looks exactly the same as we see in WinApe here which I'm using. In terms of emulators, WinApe seems to work the best which I'm using here but in Retro Virtual Machine which supposedly more accurately emulates the Amstrad it's really rough and blurry. Oh, and additionally as well, this game freezes before the title screen on a Plus machine, so it doesn't work on the Plus. 
Uh, well, Eric himself has apparently said about this game that this was a much larger and far more complex project that was abandoned, but the routines developed uh, for that were used for this quick project, and the game very much simplified as he was needing the money at the time. And actually, we're already on level 5 of 7 here. So quite a short game. Um, this is an Amstrad CPC exclusive though, so I can't talk about other versions. And as I said earlier, it was only released in France too. So no review in Amstrad Action Magazine I can go and seek out. Good job though, as this is a very short, long play, so I don't have long to talk. Ah, uh, look at that, the picture is being revealed there. Um, but yeah, I think this, oh yeah, this is the final level. There you go. And it's a shame about the rough edges and the scrolling. It's really distracting. Otherwise, it's actually fairly decent for a target shooting game. It's just too short and not enough content. And yeah, the targeting perhaps is a little bit off. But otherwise, this has the bases of a very, very good target shooting game. It just needs uh, much more development. Just need developing a lot, lot more. And there you go. That's level seven done. <laughs> and we get the full picture revealed. And congratulations. And that is end of the game, guys. We have completed it. And I did this on my first go. So indeed, there's only seven levels. And the game ends. And you literally have to reset the computer here. You can't actually get back to the title screen and replay it. So yeah, this would have been a decent budget release, for example and a sign of good things to come from a young Eric Chahi. However, with the content and length of the game, it can't really justify a full price release. Indeed, if you want a smooth scrolling and well presented target shooter game with a lot more content, challenge and depth, then of course go for the classic Prohibition. Also, as I said, I've completed this on my first go. <laughs> so unfortunately, Eric, I will have to mark it down a lot, but nice graphics, Great to see some smooth scrolling and target shooting games are always fun. So at the best, I can really only give this as much as 6.5 out of 10. But there you go. You might have fun for a quick blast. So there you go, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching. <laughs> Take care and goodbye. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please click a like below, leave a comment, and also subscribe if you haven't already. And over that way, there's another video for you to check out. Zypho, out.